Hello and welcome back to KSP at Astra. Today we are expanding the stations. By expanding the stations, I really just mean mostly one station, but we are going to mess around with Metzli a little bit. So we got the Searcy Lander coming in to Metzli Station. It is basically on its way back up from the surface with our Kerbals on board. I accidentally forgot to take the video of it taking off, unfortunately. But here it is on its way to the... Uh, Basically, our moon station that is in a polar mun orbit. Um, just to kind of mimic the gateway orbit, uh, when we do a uh, when we do the Minmus station, it's I'm I'm not gonna do a orbit like this. It's it's not fun. Anyway, here we are. Uh, <laughs> I had a slight freeze for a minute as we got into a closer point with the station itself now here we are we're coming in very quickly towards the station we're going to dock with the station and offload these poor 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 kerbals and here we go coming in closer and closer we're going to uh dock in just one moment The docking sequences for this craft, because it has only uh, two axes, or well, yeah, two axes of movement, uh, is kind of annoying, and we will fix it. And actually, we did fix it, but I fixed it off camera. I got a Kerbal out there to go <laughs> and attach some RCS little things on the sides, um, which helped it out a little bit. But, yeah, not not by a whole lot, but I, I do think it'll help it get there quicker. Now, here we are, we're going to slow down our craft, and then we're going to point directly at the station, which will help us get there much quicker. Sorry, I had to send a text. <laughs> I think that's funny to leave it in. But here we are coming in real quickly. Not really, this is actually taking absolutely forever. All right, we are getting much, much, much closer because apparently I and uh, when I actually recorded this also thought it was taking forever. But here we are coming in real close. I had to uh, change the orientation just slightly so we could dock to the station. And there we go. We are almost there. There we go. Perfect. It is docked to the station. We just need to transfer some fuel over and then we had to move the Kerbals around, but I did that off camera. And apparently I didn't do the thing, but I also returned those Kerbals. Um, but here we are with Astra 13. Yeah, Astra 13. Um, Astra 13 is launching on a Phoenix 2 and it is going to Metzli Station, which is quite cool. It's basically going to go all the way out there and uh, put some Kerbals on board, take some Kerbals off, and uh, also ferry up some tourists, hilariously. But here we are, we have our, up in the top hand corner, right there, we have our, um, our booster coming in for a landing, which is always great. Gets us back some good money, money, money. Hopefully, um, and uh, our second stage is just finishing up its burn right here. Let's watch just a little bit as this thing comes in for a landing and boom, it's landing. Awesome. So our second stage is about to be off to the mun and it is about to get there very quickly uh, as it should. It is a, uh, it is a pretty, Maneuverable craft, very high powered, very quick. And we're going to get pretty much almost a perfect encounter right away. Been pretty getting pretty good with these encounters. And it should allow us to, you know, have a good time with this docking maneuver and our encounter. So here we are slowing down very quickly, just going full bore. Those Kerbals are experiencing quite a bit of thrust. And there we are, we have an encounter. I undocked the uh, 
the other stage so that can return at a later time. Oh, we just got our rendezvous and it's loading in the station, which gives us a little bit of lag. That is fine. And we are going to time warp so that we get really close. And I almost, I almost hit the station, but luckily that allowed us to actually get right in there. And then I decided that, hey, why not try the autopilot? And it actually works pretty well. The autopilot uh, did do exactly what it said to do. Um, but I think I might keep doing the normal manual autopilots in the future. Yep. And there we go. I just had to age up our Kerbals just a little bit and then return uh, this craft back down so we can fulfill our requirements. And there we go. It is going to make the encounter with the Earth or the Kerbin and it will return. Uh, it's going to fire away from the Mun. It's gonna basically leave the Mun's sphere of influence and then it will do another burn to help deorbit itself because it was just a bad time to, uh, you know, leave the sphere of influence of the Mun. There we go. We are now on our way back down to the surface, finally. And it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna do a, a pretty steep re-entry right off the bat. It's going in pretty steep, getting really toasty, but that is okay. Everything is fine. And all of our tourists and Kerbals are on board and are perfectly safe. And right as of right now, I think Metzley Station only has one person on board as of the time that you see this. And yeah, we rolled downhill a little bit. It's unfortunate. But here we go, Odin Docking. This is a Phoenix 2 launch, and it is basically going to add a better docking area for crafts for the Odin Station. Uh... It'll also allow us to add on more to the station in the future. But here we are. We are going to fly it up. We're going to pull out our solar panels and we're going to return the first stage up in the right hand corner. As it's returning to the Earth, we are completing our uh, orbital insertion. And there we go. Our craft is making its way down to the surface as we speak. And it's raining. There we go. And now it's been recovered. And we are on our way to the Mun. Well, not yet. Or not to the Mun, but to Keo Stationary Orbit. In Keo Stationary Orbit, this will... Um, this is unfortunately manned by a Kerbal. I did not mean for that to happen. That is okay. They're just on board. Having a terrible time. But there he goes. He is about to dock the station to the rest of the craft. Or the... Yeah, to dock the craft to the rest of the station. Jeez, I'm tired. Alright. And it is going to provide lots of power and uh, also provide a place for things to dock as well as a little bit more habitation space which is always nice we are coming in very closely to the station and quite quickly and that is where we are going to dock but I realized afterwards that it's slightly uh, askew and that it is on in the wrong direction. So I decided to have it flip around and redock from the other side and fix its orientation just slightly so that it looks much better. There we go. Now, there was also one more thing for this episode. It is the Odin Fuel Depot. Uh, we needed to start putting fuel here. We want to actually, you know, 
like stock up on fuel at this station. Uh, I accidentally forgot to uh, show the first half of this. I don't know why, but it it used up almost all of its fuel getting up here. Uh, it actually, I was managing the fuel and I was dumping fuel from the spherical tanks into the into the uh, into the re the reusable portion of the Phoenix Two, and I just kept and kept and kept dumping because it was just so heavy. But we finally have it up there. It can hold a lot of fuel, and it will be able to um, basically kind of help. Well, help make this an actual depot, like an actual an actual thing that we should have up in the orbit of uh, up in the orbit of urban and it will basically help a lot when it comes to uh, ferrying things from Minmus all the way out here uh, and to the Mun in the very near future actually it's it's getting close um, that station on Minmus, all I have to do is unlock one more tech thing, and I'm sending out multiple interplanetary probes in the future, and then we can start mining on Minmus, and our, our station is basically golden. So, here we go, we are going to deorbit ourselves, uh, or we're deorbiting the refueler, craft um, which needed to be deorbited and it's going to make its way down to the surface and we are going to recover the parts from it and everything will be all happy uh, as we do this I want to uh, make people remember just 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 slightly that uh, I have a Patreon, um, and that maybe maybe if you want these videos like a week early, I know, I don't know. Cool, um, and I guess if you don't want to do that, like, comment, subscribe. I know this episode's kind of meh, very tired. Um, I don't remember doing half of this because it was so long ago. Uh, but yeah, um, thank you guys for, uh, sticking in there for this episode. It's been, it's been a little bit of a long, not very eventful one. We just kind of built out one station, but, uh, yeah, thank you guys for sticking in there for this episode and, uh, I will see you guys in the next one. But before we, but before I leave, um, I highly recommend, uh, taking a look at this old probe that I found in low carbon orbit that needed to be uh, deorbited. It is from our old Phoenix ones. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that needs to go back down to the surface. It is old and used. Look at it go, re-entering, getting a little too hot and exploding, <laughs> but it's fine. Fuel tanks are okay. And there we are, parachuting, and it's going to go into the water. And that is the end of today's video. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, and check out the second channel.